leg four of the middle distance championship is next then and this is a one mile two and a half furlong event it's 0 to 85 this week and it's cuban mananan at the top for david robertson gamis ficker darren thompson roaring 40s martin there and danjo's legacy in mcmilk finish ella alex cherry quiz assumption graham clutterbuck indigo blue alex cherry water privilege for kevin minahan antiki Stu gray coop half thomas rogers and song young proof for m mcmilk so 11 placing the start of this time and over a mile and a quarter and away they go and down on this near side Walter Privilege is one of the first one out, ones out and so too was Antiki and it's Antiki who's just about taking it up in now from Song Yang Proof but Song Yang Proof is now going on so nothing all that keen to lead the pace is a little bit slow and Song Yang Proof has the lead but presumably on sufferance already by Two lengths, the Roaring Fortress is in second, Gammy's Ficker third, and then Coop Half and Cuban Mananan. And then a gap back to the rest of them are headed by the Alex Cherry Pair, Indigo Blue, and Finnish Ella. So, Song Yang Proof leading by about four. Gammy's Ficker just poked his head in a second on the outside, Cuban Mananan on the rail, Roaring Fortress. Gap of three lengths, then back to Finnish Ella and Indigo Blue with Danjo's Legacy on there outside, wider still quizzed assumption, water privilege on the rail on the back marker is Antiki for Stu Gray, but it's Song Yang Proof who leads them. And a good three lengths to Cuban Man and then on the outside of Roaring Forties with Coop Half just between the two of them. And Gammy's Ficker has just dropped back a little bit, the Alex Cherry pair are running on together well. The field beginning to bunch now with Song Yang Proof leading by about a length and a half but now on the outside Cuban Mananan comes through and sweeps into the lead so it's Cuban Mananan who takes it up and then immediately puts the brakes on Song Yang Proof on the inside fights back Coop half around the outside Roaring Forties looks to have a double handful on that one Gamis Ficker on the outside and Ticker is now coming through but he's boxed in it's not a good week for Stu Gray getting boxed in all over the place then comes Indigo Blue Quiz Assumption is after that then Dan Jones Pregacy but it's now Coop half who's hit the front Coop half into the final two furlongs Coop Far from Finnish Ella on the outside, then Roaring Forties, then Song Yang Proof and Cuban Mananan, Indigo Blue, Antiki's got nowhere to go, still Chucky's got a double handful, and it's Coop Half who's clear of Roaring Forties, they're coming into the final furlong, it's Coop Half in the lead, Roaring Forties hits the front, Roaring Forties then from Indigo Blue, finishing well, and also Danjo's Legacy, Indigo Blue is the front, Danjo's Legacy's coming late, and it's Danjo's Legacy on the far side, and Danjo's Legacy takes it, Indigo Blue second, Alex Cherry been beating the photo again. Second race running and the complexion of that race changed three or four times in the final furlong. But Danjo's legacy takes it. Indigo Blue second and it's a win for M. McMilk. So well done. Danjo's legacy the winner. Indigo Blue for Alex Cherry was second. Quiz Assumption for Graham Clutterbuck third. Roaring Forties for Martin Lynn was fourth and Coop Half for Thomas Rogers was fifth. The unlucky horse in the race was Antiki. Um, for Stu Gray and that one really got boxed in absolutely nowhere to go